The rally to open swimming pools in Louisville gets an OK from the governor today, but not on the scale you might be thinking. It's all new on the night team. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. Lakeside Swim Club, in fact, got more than 17,000 signatures on a petition urging Andy Bashir to open the pools. As the night team's Jesse Cohen details for us, the governor finally gave a date for lap swimmers and athletes. On the brink of the summer, the pools still sit locked with no date in sight as to when summer days poolside will be back. Uh, stance on pools hasn't changed, can't change right now. But now some people will be swimming sooner than expected. Today, the governor announced aquatic centers used for training, pools connected to fitness centers, and pools used for exercise will be able to open on June 1st. We still hope that um, teams or an organized group will be included in that. And I think that is the best way to go. Mike DeBoer, the head coach of Lakeside Swim Team, says they have been pushing to be included in the fitness category of reopening. He says for the future collegiate athletes and the ones being recruited, not swimming for nearly two months is huge. But we're normally 48 to 50 weeks a year of training, and it's pretty consistent. DeBoer says the Lakeside Club is separate from them, but is still filled with lap swimmers he hopes will be included. The guidance for some of the pools is still up in the air, but Bashir made it clear recreational swimming is still not allowed. So it's very different uh, than a pool that, that, that has 100 kids in it that we know, unfortunately, um, aren't in that position to do social distancing the way that we still uh, need it. Scott Miller, the president of Kentuckiana Pool Management, says many of his customers understand it won't be that way. What do you do? But a lot of my customers are willing to take those steps so they can at least use the pool on a limited basis for the summer. He's currently working with some of the top aquatic professionals in Louisville to create guidelines to send to the state. To show them that we feel like we can um, open these pools safely with, with pretty strict guidelines. Now, Scott says if there's any chance of getting these pools open recreationally in a safe way, there's got to be a plan in place to let lifeguards train. Without them, these pools will remain closed and these gates will remain locked. For the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen.